In today's video, we're going to be reacting to The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 4. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? My name is Chris. This is Jeff. Welcome to Craft. So today we are going to be reacting to the new episode of The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. I am psyched for this episode. Me too. Me After too. that stellar last episode with, you know, The Mandalorians mm -hmm. and of course Ahsoka, right? Yep. Like, you know, my expectations are high for this new one. But I'm going to be honest, like, even though they did reveal Ahsoka in mm -hmm. the last episode, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to come into this next one. I really hope she does. Yeah, maybe. You know, Disney could surprise us on this one. Could yeah. Could actually end up in the episode. Yeah, I yeah. hope, I, I, look, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm surprised. But mm -hmm. either way, I'm just ready. I'm ready to see what they have to bring. So let's get started. Yeah, and be sure to stick around to the end because we are going to be reviewing the episode after we're done reacting to it. Yep. Here Whoa. we go. Here I'm we excited. go. excited. I'm ready. My soul's prepared. How's yours? <laughs> My soul is prepared. How's yours? Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Of course. Man, that Razor's Crest has been through so much beat. It's taken such a beating. <laughs> I always love their little bonding moments. Oh, please. Oh. Repairs, of course. Yeah. Going back to Navarro. Okay. Okay. Even though I guess we're so not, much of I the guess first we're not season. Ahsoka. Yeah. But again, this is kind of what we called anyway, right? So Maybe. Again, you, they could just throw a 180 at us. Someone's, Someone's here. here. Someone's here. Who is it? The, the Marshal. Marshal? What now? No, that's... That's not the Marshal. That's not. Oh. Damn. She's a very brutal, like, guttural fighting style, which I love. Boom. Got him. Very Batman Begins. Yeah. Of course, you need to have a space meerkat. Because you have <laughs> space frogs, space spiders. Love the music, though. I know. I, so I, I, I gotta say that. The music is awesome. So good. I didn't think they could do good music after John Williams yeah. and, like, the last trilogy, but whoever, whoever's doing it is, is really good with this. Uh, old friends. Oh, this is where they started? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Grief Karga. Grief Karga. Who comes up with these names? Very Star Wars names. Finally. Razor Crest getting some love. Yeah. I feel like we're in side quest territory again. But still could be a good <sighs> episode. You know, not judging too early. Sometimes you need a break from the action, I guess. Oh, oh wow. cool, it's a school. I didn't expect that. Nice. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, you don't see a lot of schools in Star Wars, so that's kind of nice, right? It's kind of a change of pace. I don't know. I feel like I'm really trying to justify this episode. <laughs> see, they can just get away with stuff because they just keep showing Baby Yoda. Yeah. Don't give in to the cuteness, guys. It's just a distraction. I bet you that's going to come back no. again. Well, they mentioned Kessel. Oh. That's something. Wow. They're really spending this much time on this scene. That's that's wonderful. <sighs> Why? Oh, oh, using the force. force! Using the force! Yes! Those macaroons. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, those look like macaroons. And are they just getting lazy and just don't want to come up with new stuff? Or maybe or, just uh, some blue cookie like a blue like the, the blue, blue milk? milk. Yeah. yeah. Hey, isn't that the dude? That's the guy from the first episode who he captured, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I can't see out of my left eye. Maybe that's a reference to when Han Solo says he can't see when he first gets out of the car. Uh, so we're supposed to believe that Grief Karga and all of them just gone straight. Like, it hasn't yeah, even been that long. I know. It's kind of too big of a jump for me. Yeah, I don't know. Everything's suddenly okay on this planet. Yeah. There's always a reactor, isn't Overload there? Overload the reactor. There's always usually a twist to these kind of typical episodes. So let's yeah, see what that we'll is. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Why do they have to bring? So, why do they have to bring back this guy of all the people? So, right? Something better happened in this episode. Yeah, I'm already bored. It's like each of these episodes probably cost millions of dollars to film, and nothing has happened. Yay, jetpack! So far, that's the most exciting thing that's happened in this episode. Yeah. And the blue macaroon thing. Oh, <laughs> nice! Took them all out. Wish we could have seen that. I would love to see, like, Stormtrooper, like, la lava armor. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Or just other armor in general. I mean, we just... 
been seeing pretty generic armor so far. Okay. Can you, can you do it better? I don't know. Finally. Yeah. Something. They love their hallways in the Mandalorian. Corridors. <laughs> All, right. All right. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. <laughs> TK147, why aren't you at your post? I don't think it's that's the same number, but... Was it TK421? Yeah, TK421, why aren't TK421. you at your post? Oh, I love those sounds. Those sounds, yeah. Those episode four sounds. <sighs> Mustafa. If only. If only. I'm not loving this dynamic. This group dynamic isn't really working for me. <laughs> it's kind of like when Obi-Wan has to... Was there, were there ever guardrails on those? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like when Obi-Wan has to shut down the the thing in Episode 4, except that was so much better. If the suspense around this episode centers around lava, I'm going to be super pissed. Yeah. Oh, oh lava! What did you know? Oh, no! Lava! He's actually a lava bender from Avatar. <laughs> That'd be cool. Anything would be better than this. I don't think we're being overcritical here. It's just nothing has happened. Or maybe that last episode was just so amazing that everything, by comparison, just seems lame. Oh, purge the drives. Oh man, those two guys are just doing their jobs. Thought it was going to be a normal day. Here we are. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Intrigue? Now I'm interested. What's this? What the? Indeed. What is that? What is that? Oh. Experimenting? Oh, oh yes. Lab. Okay. You okay. don't, you don't uh, think they're like force sensitive? They're experimenting on force sensitive people, do you? Maybe that's hoping too much. I can't tell what's in there. Yeah. I, thought be, I think it'd be awesome if it was clones. Oh, oh. Ooh. Men, oh Metachlorian count? Metachlorian count. count? Yes. M count is Metachlorian count for sure. Whose blood is it? Oh, it's the child's blood. Of course it's the child's blood. Okay, so Ooh, they're well, trying to take everything. the child's blood, which is has high metachlorine count, and put it into other people. I guess to make something. them more sensitive. To make does it work that way? I don't know. Maybe they want to put it into Moff Gideon. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we kind of just saw this scene in the last episode, right? Them fighting off stormtroopers, blasting them, right? Like how many stormtroopers have died for I all these know. missions? Yeah, it was kind of dumb leaving the kid behind, but I mean. Had to had to imagine that something like this was gonna happen. <laughs> Third hallway scene, yes. <laughs> really? Come on! Oh, oh my god! Four. How much can you milk the same building? Who directed this episode? Gosh, it's like how many how many uh, hallway scenes do you want to have? Um, let's see, let's see one more. Okay, oh. no. Back to this room. Oh, that Beskar coming through. There we go. Oh, nice. You would think the Empire would have just taken all the Beskar and made armor out of that, right? Yeah, I don't I know. know why they didn't do that. Imagine Beskar Stormtrooper armor. That'd be incredible. How long are they going to drag this out? Blast them. <laughs> they, still, they still make the, the sounds and like the voices sound yeah. like from like the 70s. Love that. Yeah, not super invested in these three. Yeah, me neither. Oh. Oh, nice. Of course. Speeders. No. Are they going to really waste time with this scene? See, this is what I'm saying. Clone, I mean, stormtroopers are always cannon fodder. But one of the reasons I love Clone Wars is because the clones actually had stuff to do. They had True. personality and like... Yeah. And the thing is, they were all clones. They shouldn't all have unique personalities. Yeah, but, but they had way more personalities than these faceless stormtroopers. Yeah. Doesn't this remind you of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade when yeah, they're riding through the, the canyon? The tanks. And, yeah, yeah, the tanks. Wow. Who would have thought that reference would actually make sense? Second Indiana Jones reference of the video. That's true. So far, the most exciting part of this episode has been the, the Metachlorians, which I thought I'd never say. Yeah. TIE fighters are really going after them. <laughs> always, There's always that knob thing that the... The guy adjusts. Yeah, the guy adjusts. <laughs> this is kind of cool, but it seems like a waste of time. Yeah, you can't just drop Metachlorian blood transfusion and then just go to a chase. Yeah. I want to know more. I mean, just cut back to Mando. Especially right? after we were expecting Ahsoka, right? I mean, I told you, there's no way she's going to show up. Stay on target. <laughs> I can't shake him. Stay on target. Oh. Oh, what the? Somebody. Oh, oh, oh nice. How do you have time to go oh, all the way back? Oh, he got rescued the kid. Oh, that was uneventful. He had time to go all the way back? 
get the kid and get the ship. It kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb that those other kids and they were able to fix the ship. <laughs> in all that time, blue cookie. Got the blue cookies. Macaroon slash. Well, I, I bet you Disney's gonna start selling those. Yeah. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Got some moves. <laughs> <laughs> You never have a main character in Star Wars that's not a good pilot. Yeah. Think about they're that. They're all magically good pilots. <laughs> wow. Yeah! I, I'm, not yeah! Getting, I'm not getting this, like, triumphant build-up right now. I know. <laughs> not too bad, huh, kid? Ooh. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, X-Wing? Okay, X-Wings. I always like X-Wings. Oh, this is the guy. <laughs> this is in course. This is in course. You got that right. Alderaan. Oh, really? Oh, served during Alderaan. Interesting. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, I lost everyone. Fire when ready. You may fire when ready. What? You're far too trusting. She's far too trusting. <laughs> She's far too trusting. Oh, what's that? Oh, here we go. Something, somebody important, something happening. Is that a destroyer? Is that Gideon's destroyer? Oh, man. Something always it? happens at the end. Oh, oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Off Gideon. The man. Uh, I don't know. What are those like? Are those soldiers? troopers? Oh, man. Four soldiers? Oh, my God. Four soldiers? Trooper soldiers? People? All right, guys, so we finally finished the episode. Yep. What did you think? What did you think? Uh, you know what? It was a little slow for me. Yeah. Um, I like the reveals. Mm -hmm. um, again, we don't know exactly what they're what they're after, what Moff Gideon is actually doing, but yeah. the fact they're taking Metachlorian blood and it looks like there's some sort of troopers or like, I don't know, Forced like enhanced, forced troopers, enhanced troopers, troopers. Maybe. I mean, that would be a really cool concept. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure if that was enough to justify this episode actually being good for me. What do you think? Yeah, this one was uh, pretty slow. Not my favorite. I yeah. mean, they came all the way to Navarro just to get repairs done. And most of the episode just seemed like a waste. I mm -hmm. mean, there was just a lot of, you know, stormtrooper fighting and stuff. Nothing great. And, yeah. you know, again, like you said, Chris, the whole Metachlorian's blood experimentation with the child was really cool. I had a feeling that's what they were doing with the child, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. you know, you know, he's force sensitive and they wanted to see what they could do with that, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah. But was it worth them going all all the way back to Navarro just for that? No. I no. mean, even again, they've been doing this with every episode. At the end, they have the big reveal. You know, it was Ahsoka. It was, you know, Boba Fett, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, there's a definitely noticeable pattern there, which I'm not crazy about. I yeah. mean, why not just spend the whole episode doing cool stuff, cool reveals? Why wait till all the way to the end? So... Overall, it was just kind of boring. I mean, you were there with us, guys. You saw us. I mean, there wasn't yeah, much. Not there wasn't much lot there. Going on, yeah. So, yeah, overall, it was just, eh, eh. All right, Chris, final score. So, again, guys, like, in my opinion, not a whole lot happened in this episode. No, you know, the, the big kind of triumphant thing at the end where they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. woo! Uh, that wasn't justified to me at no, all. Like, no. I was pretty bored throughout most of the episode. Yeah. I like the fact they found a lab where they didn't expect to. I like the fact that there's, you know, all these rumors about the experiments going on. I, I like that there's kind of a bigger, larger picture here instead of just yeah. adventures of Mandalorian and the child. Yeah. But um, just for this episode, I would just give it a, a probably two out of five. Okay. Yeah. So that's my score. What about you? What, what score would you give this? Yeah, I was not a big fan of this episode. It was just boring for yeah. most of it. It just mm -hmm. felt like a waste. I mean, I thought maybe they might do something cool with the, you know, bring the child to the school and with those kids, but that was just kind of fell flat. And oh, that just kind of reflected on most of this episode, right? I mean, again, I've been asking from the beginning for layers. And the whole metachlorians and the blood and all that stuff was those layers I was looking for. Mm -hmm. But that was just kind of a small blip in the span of the larger episode, right? Instead of, you know, the whole episode being full of layers, it's like, oh, one layer. And then the rest of it was just yeah. flat, right? Yeah. So with all that in mind, I would go 1.5 oh, wow. out of 5. It was just Harsh. Yeah, disappointing. Harsh but true. Harsh but yep. true. So that's our review, guys. Let us know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with us. I mean, you guys saw the episode, right? I mean, are you on the same page? Do you think yeah. it was just not great? Or did you somehow see something we didn't see and think, oh, no, Jeff and Chris, you missed the mark. This was amazing. Either way, let us know.
As always, guys, if you like hanging out with us today, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to the channel. We are a newer channel, so every little bit counts and does help us out. So yeah. please consider doing so. And until the next time, we will see you later. We will see you on the next one.